guys it's k here again and uh recently i made a video about uh, the all new samsung galaxy note 5 and uh i thought it was uh, imperative for me to make another video following that to show you exactly why uh, uh the real reason why samsung galaxy note came and created a note 5 that is different from all the notes that we know okay here's the first instance i need you to take a look at this this is t-mobile this is the official T-Mobile website and it has two uh, Galaxy Notes on market. It has the 32 GB and the 64 GB. Now I want to show you a difference for all of you guys who are saying uh, the SD card is not important on the phone. Uh, I need to show you this detail. Look at this. This is a 32 GB uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and it comes uh, if you want to buy it at a full retail uh, price, it is $700. Well, it's $699.99, cents, which is $700. And if you pay taxes with it, it's going to come up uh, almost $5 extra than the price they show here. But I need to show you something. Look at this. It is $700, full retail price. And if you want to buy it uh, on their plan, you pay zero down. And then you pay $29 per month for 24 months okay this is t-mobile but if you want to get one for 64 64 gbs you're gonna pay 99 dollars down and then you have to pay 700 dollars and 79 uh 700 dollars and 79 uh but this is the full retail price so which means there is a difference of almost two hundred dollars between the 32 gbs and the 64 gbs so for all of you who've been saying that the SD card is not important, now you see the difference. This is what I said in my first video that this is aimed at making money, selling you guys space. All right. Now it's evident. It's evident here that there is almost a $200 difference between the 32 GBs and the 62 GBs, which doesn't make any sense because if you went on Amazon and bought an SD card that is 32 GBs, you could even get it at $5. I've always bought them. So a 32 GB memory card, you could even buy it at $5. And these guys are selling you 32 GBs worth of uh, space for almost $200. This is bizarre, guys. It is bizarre. And this is exactly what I mentioned in my first video, that these people wanted to make money off of us uh, by selling our space. Because they saw Apple was doing this earlier, and this is why I never used an Apple. Uh, iPhone. They were doing this earlier. They're selling people a space in cloud and uh, people don't know exactly what's going on. So they go ahead and buy uh, the space. For me, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. And you are also limited on expanding your space. If you want to expand more, it means you have to pay even more. All right. Let's not lag on that. But I'm going to show you some of the reviews of people who are expecting the Note 5 to be a lot different or people who use the Note family phones like me. Uh, they went ahead and wrote a lot of uh, reviews uh, and we're going to take a look at these ones on the T-Mobile official website and see what people are talking about it. Okay, this is number one, uh, the person. Uh, review one, this person uh, says they're happy. I came from a Note 3. And when I heard that I was uh, to lose it, uh, what was taken away on this model, I almost decided to go and buy a Note 4. I finally got a Note 5 and I am very happy with this phone. It feels so good uh, in my hands and, you know, it's fast, smooth, pretty battery charges, super fast. So that is one satisfied customer uh, and has 15 thumbs up and 10 thumbs down. But let's see another review. Uh, it says it's a beautiful phone but horrible upgrade. I switched to a note after being after being a dedicated uh, sidekick owner. I must say I was extremely excited to upgrade to the Note 5. That was until I found out that there was no expandable memory, no SD card slot, no removable battery and no real improvement of quality in the camera. See, that is one unsatisfied customer. If you're going to buy something and then you try to read the reviews and you see the first review is good, the second review is this. It's pointing out exactly why this uh, device is being exaggerated in price and everything. You just know the device you're going to buy is a lot having question marks around it. So let's see the third review. This person is saying, 
I've had this phone for a few hours. I haven't been able to put it down yet. It's freaking amazing. I thought the lack of external memory, you see, even the person who's praising it first goes back to its downfalls first. One line down the road is going back to its downfall. So why are all people pointing towards the external memory or the expandable memory or the removable battery? It's because there is something somewhere that you really need to take a look at. And they're saying the phone is expensive. Is praising the phone here and saying it's slick and it's you know fast you can make calls through Wi-Fi and everything but he says here the phone is expensive that goes back to the real reason why I gave you the first video showing you that these people wanted to sell you space that's why they removed the SD cards and that's why the phone is gonna be expensive it's exactly what he's talking about here even though he's satisfied he's pointing out that the phone is really expensive okay Let's go to the fourth review. This person says, I had a Note 4 and loved it, but the Note 5 doesn't have the uh, removable battery and no memory card. The only good thing about this phone is the camera. Yes, that is very true though. Uh, you need to give uh, the Note 5 a little bit of credit when it comes to the camera, because I looked at it uh, yesterday uh, at Best Buy and it has a very impressive camera, but still there is a lot of downfalls especially for people who use it for other you know instances for example for me i draw on the phone and then i record myself drawing i take around five hours drawing one picture and then i have to uh take five hours of work and import it to the pc and then try to edit my files out so that shows you that i need space when it comes to space i use mega space all right anyways let's read this next review this person is saying, having gone from a Note 4 to a Note 5, I can't really complain. The quality of the screen, the pictures taking, uh, the pictures taking and the S Pen capability are outstanding. Battery life is not as good as the Note 4. Go back to that. The battery life is not as good as the Note 4. Well, let's compromise that. But the uh, but besides that, this little issue, uh I absolutely love the phone. All right, let's go to another one. Expensive. Expensive is on the mouth of everybody who's trying to write a review. They're trying. They're, they're trying to show you uh, the phone is really expensive. This person says it's expensive and runs out of space fast. Pointing back to the first video that I made to show you that this phone is going to be expensive and it's going to run out of space really quickly. The next view, the person says uh, it's modern day push, so it's trying to push into the iPhone a saga and everything. Um, let's go to page two and see uh, a couple of reviews on page two and what people are saying about this one. Say, I really don't like the Note 5. The H6 is better, in my opinion. Reason for one, uh, the looks, the black and white are ugly phones. What is the matter with Samsung? Why don't they just come out with uh, all metal like Apple <laughs> instead of this half glass and half metal? So this person literally doesn't like even the design of the phone. Let's go to the next one. The next person says they're disappointed and gives it a three star. They says, I'm disappointed. I dropped my Note 3 in a sink full of water on Friday afternoon. I used my Note 2 as a backup until I could repair or upgrade. So this shows you that this person is a Note user, is a Note loyal uh, fan. And they said, went to T-Mobile and to my surprise, the Note 5 was out. Had no idea uh, it released the same day I dropped my S3 in water. So, this person discovered from researching post uh, making by passage, by pack purchase was disappointed a long time fan of the note family i was waiting potentially on the note 5 i was happy with the note 3 so i purchased the note 4 and the note edge i just knew the note 5 would be a total game changer for samsung with the release of the s6 edge i was waiting for them to implement the double-sided curve screen onto the note and on the improvements and tweaks here, uh, there are S pens and blah blah. That person shows you they're not really uh, appreciating the new note.
they're really uh, disappointed with the new note. So anyways, I just wanted to read through a little bit of reviews here to show you guys what people are thinking. People are thinking that no expandable memory is a problem. Uh, they're showing you... Um, they're showing you that nobody really loves the uh, 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 the Note 5 the way people are supposed to love it. We're all expecting it, but we did not love it. I did not like it the way I was expecting. I didn't know uh, Samsung could come up with the phone that is almost an iPhone. And I saw it coming when I saw that they had taken away the SD card uh, capability. I knew it was coming. I knew they were going to sell us an expensive machine uh, just to uh, sell our space. This person says it's a major step back. Uh, this person is saying bashing for a wrong reason. This person is saying not upgrade. Uh, this person saying is uh, overall it's a great phone. So there is a couple of people who are really... Um, uh, satisfied with the phone but it depends on what you're going to use the phone for but for me a person who needs huge data capabilities and who's really uh, needing a lot of space to do my activities on the note phone i'm really not appreciating this phone i'd love the design for me because i don't really care about the design but when it comes to the space screen size no i did not like the phone Alright guys, I hope to see you again, but you tell me in the comments below what you feel about this phone and uh, if you think anything could be changed, because for me I really feel this one needs a whole lot of a change in order to fit uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 that I expected. Alright guys, that's it for now and uh, I'll be back pretty soon to tell you uh, a little bit more details about and look out for those drawing videos. Uh, one of these is I'm about to post another drawing video and uh, please